Hi guys, what I've got here is actually Galaxy S8 launcher running on my Galaxy S7 Edge. You can actually swipe up just like a Galaxy S8. And also if you swipe to the left, you'll be able to access Bixby. Hi guys, what you're seeing here is a Galaxy S8 launcher running on my Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, let me go ahead and swipe up and swipe up. And that's basically the biggest change is that now you can swipe up from this bar here to access your app door, right? And also when you go ahead and move apps, um, you're gonna have these options, select, uh, remove shortcut, app info. Now here's uh, something also different. Let's see, I wanna move the calculator. Uh, it's You can actually move it around within the app drawer. And if you wanna actually take it home, you can go ahead and drag it up here and do that. So that's sort of a biggest change there. So you'll really have to get used to it. But if you're gonna get Galaxy S8 anyways, you might as well install this and get used to it. Now if you do a long press and go into home screen settings, um, you will also be able to change the grid size of your home and also the app door. So I can go ahead and separately um, set this to let's say 4x4 four four if I want, apply. And also let's say I want to have a different uh, screen grid for the app screen. So I can also set that to 5x5. Five five. All right. So now you can have a 4x4 four four home screen uh, followed by 5x5 five five app door. All right, biggest change there. And also, if you swipe to the left, you'll be able to access um, your Bixby. Bixby is an AI that will basically bring up a bunch of different cards, sort of like Google Assistant. You can see right now, it's automatically bringing up my schedule. I got to walk Bowie at 9 p.m. I just, I just put that there just to show you. Uh, my alarms, themes, and if you go look here, um, you'll see all the supported apps. All right, there's probably some other apps you can download. I'm actually not sure which apps are supported with Bixby. Obviously because this is pulled off a of Galaxy S8 and it's not really available right now. But it's really easy to install if you have a Galaxy S7 Edge or S7. Um, you basically have to be running Android 7.0 Nougat. Now before we begin to install this, make sure you have Android 7.0 Nougat running. You can check that in software info about device. Um, you can see I've got Android 7.0. I've also got it to work on my Note 5, um, so you can also install the launcher. Uh, some of the ROMs, you may have problems if you're running a custom ROM. It should work on any Samsung device running Android 7.0. Now on some phones, you may have to actually delete the existing launcher and then install it. Otherwise, it will not try to install it. I've ran into problems like that, but I've installed it on my S7 Edge and my Note 5. Uh, let me actually go ahead and show you how to install it. Really easy to do. Let's go do this. Okay, step one, you'll need to download the Galaxy S8 Launcher and Bixby APK. Um, you can find this at apkquick.com. I'll have the links to this so you can get it. And let me also show you how to download it um, so you, don't, you guys don't download the wrong stuff. So go to download, download S8 Launcher APK. Go ahead and click on it and that will actually get you to the download site. Don't click on the ads, just go all the way down where it says uh, wait one second to download. I'll click on click here to download, all right? And that will download the file, all right? And go ahead and hit the back button twice and also download Bixby APK. Same thing here, just go ahead and go to the bottom, uh, wait five seconds, and we're gonna go ahead and download that file. All right, go ahead and download, and that will download the Bixby. All right, while that's downloading, go ahead and click on the TouchWiz Home. All right, you might say you will need to set unknown sources on. So go ahead and uh, hit unknown sources on. Uh, I'm just gonna turn off, allow this installation only. Hit okay, install, and this will install the Galaxy S8 launcher. All right, after that, hit the home button, give a second. And now you should have the Galaxy S8 launcher. Uh, there's no app drawer, you're gonna have to swipe up. So this is the Galaxy 8 launcher. All right, not too much difference. Pretty cool. Um, next, go ahead and click on bixby.apk, install. And this will install Bixby. 
All right, go ahead and do a long press. You can go to home screen settings. Now you will see Bixby settings here. All right, now Bixby won't work right away, so go ahead and simply reboot, and it should start working. And boom shakalaka. Now if you swipe to the left, you're gonna be able to use Bixby. Go ahead and agree to all, finish, allow, 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 and there you go. And you should now be able to enjoy Bixby and check it out. All right, you want to sign into your Samsung account to actually get the full use out of it. So go ahead and sign into your Samsung account and you'll be able to use Bixby fully. And that's how you install Samsung Galaxy S Launcher and also Bixby. Anyways, if you have a Samsung phone running Nougat, definitely try it out. Do let me know what you think. You can enjoy your S8 launcher and Bixby right there without having an S8. I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.